today there is no greater resource sent abroad by this country in foreign assistance, military, economic, social, and otherwise, than what goes to the country of Israel to the tune of over three. By the time you add up all the different sources of funding that Israel received, it's probably closer to about four, four and a half billion dollars a year that one country of about six million people received from us alone. When you add Egypt, which is another country in the Middle East, with probably the Egyptian American population is even far smaller than the Jewish American population, or those who are very concerned about the status of Israel, Egypt receives about $2 billion a year in resources from this country. How much does Latin America get? Not Mexico, not El Salvador, not Guatemala, not Colombia. Latin America, about a tenth of what Israel gets. And how is it that a small population like our brothers and sisters in the Cuban American population, can so drive policy as they're very coordinated. Of the six and a half million Jewish Americans in this country, about five million are registered to vote. About 30% of Latinos who are voting age and citizenship eligible are registered to vote. There are about four and a half to five and a half million in some certain lawful permanent residents who the census says to us are probably eligible to become U.S. citizens, but haven't. If we just took the LPR population, lawful permanent resident population, in this country that could become a U.S. citizen, it would almost equal the size of the entire Jewish American population in this country. And by a factor of three to four, it would be larger than the entire Cuban American population in this country. So to me, as I said, I see the wheel, I see the plan, and I see the, the mission and how to succeed. It's been done by many of our friends and some of these other communities, many of whom support us in our cause as well. I dare say there aren't very many uh, Cuban Americans or Jewish Americans who aren't with us in this issue of trying to empower immigrants. So that's not the issue, it's how do we harness that? And so these marches, the big rallies, the vigils, as much as some people will say to you, oh gosh, they, they harm the cause politically, you're just getting that, that right-wing conservative base riled up and then it's not to open. Could be. If you just do it once, you're right. You will have, have, you will have scratched the sore of a population that doesn't like immigrants. But after a while, there's no way that you can put down 10 to 12 million people should they gain legal status, another five or so million who could become U.S. citizens, along with the 41 million others who are Latinos in this country, who probably sympathize with most of those. And so it's there, it's for us to take advantage. I know you have answers, I have some ideas as well, but what we have to get rid of is this notion that the answer is not out there. It is out there. And we all have to struggle together on how to get there. And principally for me, it means everyone and I guarantee you, every one of us knows someone who is a lawful permanent resident and has been one for more than five years. And chances are, I can probably, all those of you who probably not, yes, I know someone, you probably know it because it's in, the person's in your family or a close friend or a neighbor. And every time I hear that person complain about the welfare chief in this country being taking advantage, I always say, have you ever reported that person if that's, if that's the case? Well, the authority should go after that. And we all have a responsibility. If you think someone's cheating on welfare, you report them. If you think someone's selling drugs, you report them. If you think someone should be voting, you encourage them. It's up to us. It's, too long. it's long overdue for us to start picking up the beast and doing some of these things ourselves. So I'm encouraged to see so many people that are here. I hope you, you share your ideas. But as I said, the wheel is there. Let's just turn it.